welcome in the head coach here. Brent Vernon visits with us, Coach. Uh, this is kind of a snowball here and uh, a tough one to swallow today at Shawnee. Yeah, it is. Our guys, they, they battled hard. They played extremely uh, with good energy. They fought through a lot of fatigue. They did everything I could ask. Um, obviously, I made a very critical mistake late in the game, and I, and I have to take this one. The, uh, the technical foul, of course, is what you're referring to, and I know that uh, you had a conversation with that official and you were unhappy with his explanation on a potential three-second violation, a sarcastic response, and, and then uh, you know you come back and that's the same official that assesses the technical. I know that's frustrating for you, but and also in a critical juncture of a game, that's it's always a tough call as well for an official. Uh, maybe you shouldn't make that one. It is, and, and you know, we had had a, a an exchange earlier and and I was very disturbed he, you know he basically laughed at me and, and I, you know I told him I didn't appreciate it but I dropped it after that uh, I, I will always fight for my guys I will always defend them Drew had gotten fouled multiple times tonight but on the pass he, he was trying to flip, uh, kick it back out to Zob and two or three guys hit his arms they came down and scored and the the only thing I said was I think that's a foul carry and, and he blew the whistle and got me uh, you know that that was hard because I, I just I really don't think I deserved it. But again, I, I gotta just swallow it and not say stuff at, at certain times, obviously. And um, it's just tough. I, and that, that again, like I said that one's on me. Big game for Drew tonight, Coach. He had 26 and 15. Uh, again, the game plan obviously get that man the basketball as much as possible. At one point late in the game, Hagen Tyler came off during timeout. He said, "I'm going to find you every time." That was what uh, you guys wanted. He responded with with a big day. He and Hagen both had big days. They did, and, and you know, uh, Drew playing against some bigger guys sometimes it can be uh, a harder game. But he did a great job against uh, the best shot blocker in our league. He got to where he was getting double buried and getting left hand hooked time and time again. And late in the game with the lead, we wanted to continue to throw it into him and let him make the right reads. And he made one uh, basically every time. There was one turnover with about four minutes to go, maybe just a little too bunched up on our guys cutting to the rim. Uh, but, but again, our, our guys, they did everything I could have asked for them to do. They battled extremely hard and, and it just came up uh, a little bit short. Obviously a game effort, a one-point loss here for the Tigers uh, tonight. No Jacob King. You get Ronald Taylor back, but, uh, you know, there's no addition there. It's just kind of you're breaking even. This is uh, uh, a limited bench, and, again, you got a couple of guys. We talked about it through text messages. Hagan and Zob going to have to take advantage of the breaks. They didn't get any tonight. They gave you 40 minutes. Uh, it would be nice to have another body or two. You're just running into some terrible luck with injuries right now. Yeah, we've been beat up all year. You know, it started, unfortunately, early on with Kevin and, and Barry, two guys, you know, Kevin was, was in the starting lineup and, and would have been a starter for us. And Barry was figuring our system out, a guy who can really make some shots. And, and then, you know, Ronald goes down and has a couple of, of, of bad breaks with ankle injuries, uh, you know. And, and, and then, you know, we got some very unfortunate news with Jacob after the Pikeville game. A, a tough young man broke his wrist in the first half of that game and, and then, you know, plays the rest of the game. You know, didn't think it much of it. And, uh, drilling wore off a little bit, got an X-ray and, you know, we're going to hope we're going to fight as a team and continue to to compete and hopefully find a way to get him some more games later in the year but you know we've never we've never been a team to make the excuses we, we want to continue to be a team that doesn't and it's got to be next man up i thought sam whining did a nice job today i thought ronald taylor for so limited over the last week and a half stepped up and showed how selfless he is to to, to say coach i, I want to help my team out and do the best i can and i thought he gave some good minutes I, very solid on the defensive end, made some nice passes. Uh, you know, I don't know if he had any turnovers. He didn't. And, and that's what Ronald brings, just a very good basketball IQ. Uh, but we, we, we did some good things tonight. And, and like I said, I'm very proud of our guys. You left here this place a year ago going on to Pikeville. It was a very low point in the season. But you guys, uh, obviously, the Pikeville game didn't go well, but you responded through the conference tournament and that type of thing. And, you know, I expect more of the same. Two and five this first round through. Got some ground to make up, but uh, a lot of fighters in that locker room. There's a lot of fighters. I'm going to say, obviously, they're very disappointed. And, and, and I love seeing the disappointment. You're never happy with a loss. But whenever you see disappointment, it shows that they haven't given in. And, and I don't think we have guys on our team that will. We have guys that want to win and want to do right. And, you know, after I told them, obviously, uh, very sorry. And I, I'm taking that when a couple guys stepped up and said, Coach, that's that's all in all of us. It's not on you. And and as a leader, though, it, it's hard for me to, to take that one. Um, again, our guys, they fought hard, and, and, and we're going to get back to work and, and try to find a way to, to right the ship. 
Uh, it's the first of a three-game road set. Now you get a couple days off, uh, recuperate a little bit, prepare for the trip down to Cumberland University on Thursday, Lindsey Wilson on Saturday. Uh, a huge weekend for you guys forthcoming. It's a very big weekend. I'm going to say uh, we, have to, we have to just buckle down, go out and try to get two. The, the one thing, obviously the road's been unkind to us, but we got to go and fight and try to get two games. You get two games, and all of a sudden you're sitting one game behind 500 with four, road, or four home games in a row. Uh, we were in a stretch, I think, of four or five or five, five or six, of six yep. road games, and it's a tough part of the schedule. But now we got to come back and and try to get the last two on that on that road trip, and, and hopefully start righting the ship. And then whenever we're at home in the the confines of the PAL, hopefully we'll find some more ways to get some wins. Coach, thanks for stopping by, taking a few minutes. Tough thanks, one man. here. We'll see you on Thursday. Uh, Coach Brent Vernon and the Tigers falling here at the Shawnee State, 82 to 81, the final score of this Mid South Conference contest.